Okay, so I uh, thought it'd be hilarious to do this video right now. Uh, I want to do a moment of silence for my Forerunner. It's a 1996. It has 330,000 miles on it. And uh, it's been a great car. Um, I mean, to go that many miles on any car is quite an accomplishment. Uh, here's what happened. Uh, my wife got rear-ended. This is about the only reason these things don't go that far, other than not taking care of them. Um, yeah, it's such a bummer. I really love this car. I finally got the suspension set up the way I wanted it, um, and well, for the most part. And uh, it's just a bummer that this happened 800 miles later. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's been a real good car. Um, I got uh, you know upwards of 20 miles per gallon on trips. Um, and part of that, uh, you know, I would say why I got good mileage was the tires. These are tires that came off of my friend's Forerunner. Uh, she needed the set that came off of here. I had hand-cooked Dynapros on them. Um, real light, uh, and so that helped the fuel mileage. Also, um, I noticed on her Forerunner, when you lift it up in the air and you spin the tires, these spun very easily on this car. On her car, didn't spin so well. So maybe there's some bearing issues that, are, that have built up. But um, really, to get, I think I got 21 and a half miles per gallon on a trip to the Bay Area. That worked out real good. Um, these Forerunners are pretty good as long as you can get a good history on them and you know the person that owned it before you took real good care of it. Um, essentially, this was uh, a second owner vehicle. The uh, um, guy I got it from, his father bought it brand new off the lot, and uh, he bought it from his dad. And so it had been in the family, there was an absolute history to it, so we knew what was going on. Um, and that helped because I knew they had taken care of it and uh, all the maintenance had been done properly, timing belts had been changed, things like that. So that's, that's a real important thing to look for when you're looking at buying uh, a used forerunner like this. Um, yeah, you know, there's a bunch of other things I'll go into, but I will say overall, as a vehicle, this thing has been phenomenal. Um, I, the only reason I didn't get another one just like it is because I already have another four-wheel drive, and I want something more economical, so I went with that. I'll talk more about that in another video. Uh, Camry Hybrid, pretty cool setup. Um, but we really miss this 4Runner. It's been all over the place. Uh, it's been our go-to vehicle. Uh, do just about anything um, everything from cross-country trips to getting groceries to taking dogs to the groomers and stuff like that it's been a real good uh, real good truck um, really gonna miss it but uh, anyway um, thanks for watching I'm gonna go into some more in detailed things like suspension and, and other things with this uh, on other videos um, but uh, I just want to say overall as my general review of this forerunner uh, it's been great I mean we've got there's a couple issues with these. Um, they're not super roomy inside, um, but you know, and one of the things is the, the cup holders suck. You, you'll know what I'm talking about if you've had one. Um, and the rear spring issue, um, they tend to sag in the rear and you've got to either replace the spring or, or do something with it. Um, but again, I'll go into that in another video. Other than that, been a great car, so. Um, if you're looking at one, you know, they're, they're worth looking at, even the older ones, particularly the third generation, were extremely well made. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and please subscribe. And uh, thank you for all the subscriptions, by the way. I appreciate it.